Speaker for her graduating class in 2018, and presently she works as a full-time co works and is a full-time college student, um, completing a bachelor's degree in psychology and communication. So welcome, Lacey. Thank you. setbacks, 
a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you will realize is that you are more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances. You don't have to go through life being a victim. It's not over until I win. How powerful. Every time I come across this quote, I get chills. I discovered it a few years ago in the midst of my cancer journey. I would drive to Malibu and I would sit in my car with the windows down, listening to the waves crash, and I would tune into this. It just holds so much power and meaning. You are greater than your circumstances. This to me is everything. And for the first time in my life, I believed it. Cancer does not define us. I know it's a hard concept to grasp and get through your head, and I know this because I've struggled with the same concept. But once you decide that you are worth being here, nothing will change that. As I stand here and unfold my messy, messy cancer experience I've had, I see so much hope in this community. I myself am so hopeful. I know cancer has touched you in some way or another, but you have the power to stand up and be something more. I share my story because I know I can help so many others and myself in the process. I may seem put together and confident, but trust me, my chemo brain is hitting me in full force. And I love that I can be vulnerable and raw and honest. It's such a magical feeling to share my story. And after today, I hope you can share your story when the time is right. Sometimes I would cry clearly and scream and ask the inevitable question, why me? I hate questioning a higher power and thinking that I didn't deserve this. But I came across a quote that switched my mental health, my positive mentality on like a light. God gives his toughest battles to his strongest warriors. I read and reread this quote to myself time and time again. And eventually, instead of saying, why me? I said, try me. I realized that I could bandage my fears with faith and end up winning. Some days cancer had the winning streak and some days I did. But I got through it and that's what counts. My journey made me realize that I'm stronger than ever. I feel like I'm a completely different person than who I once was and I can't even imagine meeting the girl that I once was because she is now a stranger. Sometimes we have to go through moments, moments that may change us Forever. But if you have the right mindset and can challenge yourself, you can get through just about anything. You are going to have non-believers, you are going to have enemies, and you're going to have a negative voice in your head doubting you, but don't give in. My non-believer was me, my enemy was cancer, and that negative voice was mine, but I never gave in. Nothing was easy, but everything was worth it. I have a million reasons to be bitter and broken, but today and every day after, it's only a million opportunities to grow, create, and fulfill the life I want for myself. I look at myself in the mirror every day, and I notice my strength, courage, and admirability. I am so proud of what I went through. Cancer fighters thrive. They, we, have this glow and vibrant life that shows through us. If I can get through the demon we all know is cancer, I can get through just about anything. If I can do it, you can do it too. I constantly told myself, this battle will soon be over. It is the fear of what might happen that undoes us. The remembrance of the pain leaves me in paper cuts. However, I never lost hope of not recovering. I embrace the pain of the aftermath because memories soften eventually. I think some people would be happier if they admitted things more often, because in a sense, we are all prisoners of some memory or fear of disappointment. We are all defined by something we can't change. I emerged out of this stronger than I walked into it. I am more brave and more bold than ever before. This has made me a better human, more compassionate, more understanding, more loving. And the most beautiful people in this world are made up of the ugliest moments of their lives. So I learned to forgive that 
Forgive everything that has happened. Life is everything we can ever imagine. Laid out in patterns of passion and pain. You cannot control it, so just live in the moment. We will win, we will survive. And you may not be able to tell, but I am connected to a 24-7 chemo pump, and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. But I deal with it because it's my normal. It's my life, and I've learned to cope with it. After my fourth time, I may be an expert, just saying. But really. After being diagnosed with cancer and going through surgeries and chemo four different times, I have to say that there's something keeping me in this world. I am meant to make a difference. Whether you're 19 or 19, 19 or 90, cancer does not care. It doesn't get any easier. You just get stronger. That is what a storm is all about. And you may fall down and lose your spark, but when you rise up, rise up with the whole damn fire. You all wrote something beautiful today, and that is why we're here. I think we can all agree that cancer has affected us hugely in some way or another. So, dear cancer, it's me. Thank you for stopping. Thank you for making me stop and listen to what's important. You can go now. <laughs>